French Kiss, and I remember being quite the young man listening to that song and losing my whole life. Um, take these off, too. Uh, hey, this is Khalil. This is Talking Sh- Watch Your Mouth with Khalil Anthony. Talking shit with Khalil Anthony, honey. Um, we did a pilot of this, uh, me and myself, uh, a couple months ago. But this is the real pilot because this is like... A dream come true. Um, Two weeks ago, I was lucky enough to have a guest list to go see Little Lewis at the Panorama Bar as part of Finest Fridays. I have two amazing friends, um, Lakuti and Tama Sumo, who I've been blessed to perform with twice. And they do this amazing event at Panorama Bar called... uh, Finest Fridays. So I'm just going to walk you through my day and uh, go go in a little bit. So I um, had an amazing Friday. I was very excited all two, three weeks. When I, well, actually months. Whenever I saw Little Lewis was coming to Berlin, I was like, it's going down. I got to go there. I got to dance. Um, there's something that's really special about uh, Chicago house DJs. And what I mean by that especially when we're referencing uh, Little Lewis and um, huge persona like himself, uh, they play that music, you know. Um, we're here post, post, post all these amazing things that have happened to house music. House music is all over the world. I've had some amazing experiences in South Africa where the taxi is playing house music and the restaurant, the cafe. I mean, just grandmas are listening to house music. It's, it's going down. And I moved to um, Berlin to experience more of that uh, personally. Um, So my point, um, I knew I needed to be there. And I was. And um, that was really cool for me um, to get my body in that room and to make sure I was able to share... um, even the way we dance in Chicago is different. You know what I mean? Like, there's some house songs that you like, okay, I'm about to, like, lose it all. And the thing that you win when you lose it all is yourself, right? Like, I, I've always called church um, multiple things, but definitely house music party is church for me. And, uh, you know, let's be real. There's sometimes times that... Um, you're not in church, and they are still play a house. <laughs> you, they are doing whatever they do, and God bless it, because I think it's great that the form and the genre has moved as far as it has from center. But uh, at the same time, for people like myself, I'd be looking for that place, the place to like lose myself and to uh, to gain everything. Um, yeah. So okay. So I went to the to the Panorama Bar and met up with my girls and my Nai, my Ari, my Zola. Um, of course, uh, Kirsten is Tamasumo, and my Lakuti is Lorata. Lorato. Um, I'm very excited. So I was supposed to be doing this post like. I was coming home from the, the venue on Saturday morning, like I gotta do this, but I was like just. Keep it to yourself for a little bit. Um, so I just danced, dance, dance, dance. Got my life on, um, and like really got my life on. So Little Lewis comes on. We both have a uh, similar those painting caps, those like paint boy caps that you wear, like super cool Chicago. I should get that. For, I should get that real quick. Hold on, put my glasses back on, and mm, there we go. There we go, honey. Yeah, so then um, we have both have the same cap on. I make sure I stand close to him so I can see his face because I've seen him before in my life. I was much younger and lost it, worked it out, you know, salvation time. And uh, so he's playing his set. It's 6 in the morning when he starts, so maybe it's about 7.30 right now in the morning, Saturday. If you don't know Berlin, then 
we'll talk about that later, but like it goes down. So he's playing and honey, so we all dance and this song comes in. Like I was like, wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> if you know me, you know I was celebrating, honey. It's my song, right? This is the the story behind this song. This is a song from um my second self-produced album called Train. And it's called Needed You Bad, the number one, the first song on the album. And uh, Malik Crumpler, who I live for. I mean, just one of my favorite musical, like, uh, uh, compadres, musical um, inspirations. Just he, uh, we made this song together. You know, it's his beat. He, we recorded it in New York. Awesome. Great experience. Bam. Great song on the album. Um, and, and, and for myself, I travel a lot. So I got to go, I was, in, I was living in Leeds, England at the time. And, uh, one day I had to get out of Leeds and an amazing friend, Desiree Reynolds, who has a great book called Seduce. You should read that. And, uh, she's like, take, come with me. We're going to go to Sheffield. So I'm like, let's go. Don't know where that is, but let's go. So we get to Sheffield. Um, and I find out later, of course, the history of music in Sheffield and the similarities between Chicago with the steel city and that kind of like grit that creates great music. And I meet this amazing, meet these two amazing people, um, Scott uh, Moncrief, that man Monks, and um, his amazing brother, Aki. Um, and we had the best night ever. You know, you're in the UK, you're going to get some drinks, you're going to drink. And you're gonna listen to some good music and have a good time. Boom! Fast forward, I uh, finished my album with Malik. Send it to Scott because Twitter was happening at that time. I tweeted it to him, and then fast forward to him remixing to to make it sound like this. Hey, can't you love me, love me, love? So okay, so then uh, fast forward to last two week, two weeks ago. Lil Lewis starts playing this song, okay? And he puts it on, and he's looking at me like this. Like, like what? Lil Lewis is looking at me playing my song. And I'm like, wow, wow, you know? So I'm like, say it out loud. Like, that's my song, that's my song to the people around. Like, oh my God, it's your song. I'm like, this my song. You know, I'm dancing, having a fucking... Oops having a good time. Sorry, mama. Having a great time, you know? And then he mixes it out to something else, right? Mixes something else. And then he comes back in. Put my song in. Hey! You know, boom, 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 boom. He mixes it out again, y'all. And then comes back again, like, hey! Like, six times. Like, come on. And the whole time he's looking at me like, he's like, you know, we both got our paint boy caps on. It's hot, so we don't have no shirt on because it's like moving. And he's looking at me, pointing. My heart, man, you know, like my whole existence is like, oh, yes, Lord, you know, like to have um, the wizard or one of the wizards look at you while they're playing your song in Panorama Bar in Berlin and to, to, to feel like, you know, it's not a, there's not a, no amount of money that is going to make me feel like I've made it. You know, that's not what it is. I've made a lot of money in my life. Um, but what it is, is it, it, it's, it's this kind of acknowledgement, you know. And, 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 and in this world, in the house music world, my experience the last four and a half years, it's been pretty tricky, you know, because I think we um, do a lot of work. We do a lot of work, and sometimes it's not going to be compensated the way it was given, or the intention, or the, the what's behind all of the the writing and the musical um, options you get. Like, oh, here, sing on this track. You're like, oh no, thanks, you know, or um, wow, it's amazing. I want to sing on this track, and I've had some amazing success. I have my voice is on eight or ten, eleven, I think. Um, vinyl albums and like I'm a vinyl boy like I grew up with vinyl and that just makes my heart happy and this um this experience for me was like confirmation like you are on the right track you know what I mean like it, something's happening Lil Lewis knows your face and your music like you can know the music play a song I'm not necessarily in the room uh but I was in the room 
And he pointed at me, and he looked at me, and he smiled at me the whole time, and we danced, and, you know, he was DJing, and I was just like, yay, dancing, you know? And it was amazing. Ah. And uh, I guess the point of this, or the reason I'm sharing, is one that just blew me away. And if you know little Lewis, you know what I'm saying. This is a shout out to my Malik and my um, Scott because it says that we did some good work together, um, and 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 people see it, and not just people, but little Lewis sees it, you know. And for me, being from Chicago, I have to be honest, it, it was one of those moments. Like if you're a rapper and Jay Z talks about your song as, as a rapper, I'm sure you're gonna you know be really experienced and from, feel a great experience through that. And for me, that was that uh, similar. Similar kind of um, thought. Uh, someone I thought I think about often, and I admire his work. Played my song while I was in the room and pointed at me the whole time and brought it back in six times. I will love you. Yes, I will love you. I will love myself. I will love the work I'm doing in my path. And um, thank you.